Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today we are gonna be doing a little day in the life. I feel like I should do day in the lives better than just like stretching it out because I have not been able to keep up with my vlogs and I start them and I don't finish them. So maybe if we do like a day in the life, it would be much better, I guess. Today is Tuesday and I just finished washing my hair. I am gonna style it on camera and I have an event to go to at 6, 6.30. So it is currently two o'clock. So I'm starting the vlog later on in the day because I had a slow morning. Yesterday was like a full on cleaning day. So today I kind of slept in a little bit, enjoy my sleeping time. <laughs> and now it is time to do my hair. I feel like we are a little bit, okay, I think this lighting looks good. Are you using a new little tripod thing to hopefully ease up my desk space. But I'm gonna be doing my hair with some Swap products today. I actually have really been liking Swap. You guys are pretty affordable. Their pink line is it. They have the Lush and Coily line, which is like for thicker texture. And then they also have the Luscious Curls, which I also use. So I've been using that, um, but they got new packaging. Ah, so exciting. This video is not sponsored, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be styling my hair with, of course, because I'm going to be doing that on camera with you guys. So we're using the Suave Lush and Coily Cream Detangler Spray, and this is what it looks like. Right, and then I'm going to use the Curl Defining Cream, which looks like this. So that's what I'm going to be using today to style my hair. While I was doing my skincare today, I was watching... Um, well, I am watching Couples Retreat and I hadn't seen this movie in so long. It's obviously an older movie and I'm watching it and it's actually really funny. <laughs> it's a good little laughter, you know? I am doing... styling my curls and I don't know if I mentioned it yet I feel like I haven't edited a couple videos so I don't know but this has been my favorite brush as of lately for styling my curls by the way I have like the teeth whitening strips so if you hear me talking funny it's because of that <laughs> but I I really have been loving this brush I have given up my gentleman brushes for this I feel like it just styles my curls so much better so frizz free and the bristles are like more separated if you can see it's from tangle teaser and i think it's called their blowout brush or something like that i will link it down below for you guys in case you want to try it out because i really 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 like it and i got it in like a few other colors and it's so much easier to clean i just really love this brush i have really been loving it and so that's what i use to style my curls i want to show you guys my little hair section again i really don't know what i filmed and what i haven't filmed but let me show you guys where i keep like my hair tools now because because it's so much more organized so right next to my desk so in case you're wondering this is my little filming setup situation and then you guys were just on that and then right next to me here is where i put my little organization stuff for my hair products and stuff and it's the best and then up here and then this one you guys already saw but this is my second one now that has the hair stuff and this is basically all of my hair tools and then oils edge controls i feel like it's so much more organized this way because i had a lot of like random oils on the shelf and if it leaks or anything like that i can have them in like plastic containers which is so much better and then i come here at night pick one of these and i and then i put it on my scalp and my edges and stuff like that now my diffuser is closer to me because it was not closer to me it was actually in the closet all the time and so it was just annoying to do but now here it is and i'm still watching couples retreat over here i'm actually doing so good on time right now which is great because usually for events i am rushing it is now three o'clock i have have to leave here by 5 45 so once i dry my hair all i gotta do is my makeup i already got my outfit that i'm gonna be wearing and i'm actually really excited because my mom is coming with me to this event 
and this is gonna be her first influencer event. It is an air wick event, so it's gonna be fun. I'm so excited. Let me go ahead and dry my curl, then we can go on and do my makeup. I got this new eyeshadow palette in the mail literally today by Bare Minerals, and I'm wearing a white top with brown pants, and so this was perfect. I was like, I need to use this. This is the Bare Minerals Minimal Minimal Mineralist. Wow, <laughs> Minimal. Damn it, Minimal. Min I keep saying minimer, but it's mina minerals, whatever. Warm eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's literally right up my alley. Like it's literally right up my alley. Look how beautiful these colors are. Like, come on. Are you kidding me? Gorgeous. It's gonna be perfect for my outfit, so we'll do that together. My hair is now dry, even though it looks kind of flat. I wanna say it's about like 95% dry, but I don't wanna touch it and mess with it because I still have, I still have like three hours or like two hours for the event, so I'm not gonna mess with it. However, because some parts are still wet, I am gonna do my little claw clip hack and I'm using a huge one today. So this is the one. You can get them at Marshalls. They're super affordable and I love them. I did a, a haul the other day with all the ones that I bought. Guys, my bangs were so short and now they're getting so long and I also cut them the other day. But anyways, we're going to use my little claw clip to lift up my roots. Some of it's already dry. There we go. Cute. I mean, it doesn't look cute, but it's gonna look cute once I take it out. Okay, so in the meantime, I do have some work to do. I just have to post a video that I did for a brand. I have to make sure it goes live. But I wanted to show you guys my cute little case for my laptop. It's so stinking cute. I got it off of Etsy. I was due for a new case and i found it and i love it i'm like this is so cute and fun so i'm going to quickly does anybody else not like these things i only use it because like color purposes but anytime i'm actually going to use my computer i take it off because i feel like it makes the buttons so stiff and it's not as easy like i can't just edit as easy as i want or as quick as i want should i say when i have that on so a little behind the scenes whenever you're working with a brand they ask you to send over a concept of like what your idea is what your vision is for the brand for the content that they want you to make and they just kind of give you the guidelines and then you send over concepts right once you send over the concept they approve it and then they give you the green light like okay you can go film once you film your content then you send it to them for approval and if they approve it you're good to go if they ask for some changes whether that's on caption voiceover or actual like video content then you obviously have to make those changes and then once you do that then they'll give you a live date to go live so i already did all of that and now my video is ready to go live so then what i like to do is before posting is that i go back to the email to make sure that i am posting like the right captions that i'm posting the right video to the right platform because now there's some brands that just want tiktok videos and then there's some brands that want instagram and tiktoks and then there's other brands that just want instagram videos so i always have to look back at my emails to see what this video what platform the specific video is supposed to go for the brand. It's a lot of work and it's a lot to like keep up with, but that's why I'm like, I can't live without my iPad. I literally cannot live without my iPad. It just helps so much more for like organization and productivity. So I just check that. Right now I am posting for the brand Kiss. I actually really love this video. I did a top knot and it's their edge control that I've been using and loving. I literally have been using it all the time and I wish I would have like discovered it earlier because ever since I started using it, I literally love it. So this is the video and what I'm gonna do right now is just airdrop it to myself so that I know this is the final edited version because the one on my phone might not be the most up-to-date one and because the worst thing is uploading the wrong video and then having to like redo it again, like take it down and redo it again, so for a bun day so let's go ahead and quickly do a top knot bun smooth out my hair making sure it has no knots and here's my bun of course a bun is not complete or any sir in the max hone strength but anywhere as you can see it so my video is now posted that took a little bit it is now going to be four o'clock you guys so now i really have to start getting ready because if not then i will have problems
Okay, so I have two options. I have these little huggies, which honestly, these are the ones that I'm probably leaning towards. And then I have these are kind of small huggies as well, but they're just like a little chunkier and bigger. For some reason, obviously once we put the outfit together, we'll be able to like see what looks better. But I personally like the two small hoops. So, so let's see what that looks like once my hair's like all fluffed out. To be honest, you probably won't even be able to see it. Hair and makeup is ready. And look who's here. Hi. Show them your your outfit mom your Hello. outfit your hair where am i oh, you're right here, I'm right here. I this one's for the vlog you have to do the other one for right. tiktok too yeah. Oh, my mom's first event are you Ooh, excited mom i'm excited yes to walk with the prego yes here's my oo td i'm trying to show it to you guys without this being slanted here's my pants and my top and my favorite heels and my hair is all done and nice and fluffy okay we ordered the uber we're just waiting for the uber to get here he is seven minutes away yeah so i'm not gonna put my coat on yet we finally made it to the uber this is a doc um what is it a, a monumental moment because my mom is coming with me oh my god I'm so wow. excited. I'm so excited. We have like a 30 minute drive, I think, 30, 40 maybe, to the city. We should be getting there. The event actually started right now, but it's like a 6 to 8 event, so it should be fine. But I had to go back home to change my coat because the other one was looking real crazy. Oh, yeah. Let's see your curlies. Oh, show my curls. Oh, and she Ooh. got her pearl. Let's see. The pearl headband. Okay. Wow, so cute. of a bunch of stuff but it's and we good. can make it at home because everything is in your house this is my mom oh yeah this Hi, is like nice to meet you how are you i'm like You have to dry one. They're not too sweet. Dry it. We have to lose the cake. I'm tall. We have a high cake out to eat. Say hi mom. Hi. We were starving. I'm back home now. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm back home and there's a few little things. Show you little baby. Mio is like whining and ants today. You're whining and I don't want you to lick my mouth. No, 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 no. Hi. I give me you. I give me you. I give me you. <laughs> okay, I love you too. I wanted to share something really, really quick. First things first, this came in the mail. So I'm finally going to be able to do my, what is it called? My desk. Because I have this on, but I ripped it off because I wanted to see if I wanted the white vibe and it wasn't a thing. It's just no. It gets too dirty too fast. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. This is contact paper, peel and stick. You can get it from Amazon and it's, it's literally the best. That's one. Thing I wanted to share that I'm gonna do. I'll show you guys like the before and after. And then the second thing is I have been struggling so much with under eyes and like dryness and creasing and just nastiness. It has not been looking good. 
and I'm like, okay, so is this just that the lines under my eyes are now no longer gonna be hideable? But I found a technique that works and I've had my makeup on for at least, it's almost 10 at this point. I started getting ready at like two-ish, three-ish. So like seven, six, seven hours. And I haven't even touched up anything. As you can see, I'm getting kind of oily, but you guys, this is like the best my makeup has looked in a while. And I'll tell you what I did. I used the Nivea cream under my eyes. So I put Nivea cream like a thick old layer while I did the rest of my face. And then I feel like that kind of helped because it is a thick cream and it helped with hydration under my eyes, number one. So if you're gonna put powders on your face, make sure you're hydrating them, which I tend to forget and skip. And now I know that that does not look good under my eyes if I don't do it. The next thing I did is that I changed up my concealers. So I used the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer which is this one right here i use this one and i kind of let it sit under my eyes i didn't record my makeup for here so you guys won't see my makeup but i'll link the tiktok video of like the get ready with me i let that sit under my eyes and then with a damp beauty blender sponge i used the laura mercier original i love I think that's like literally hands down the best setting powder ever in my opinion it's an og for a reason and i'm on their pr list so they're always sending like new ones or like updated version ones and i'm so grateful because i really really do love it and i put that press under my eyes didn't bake or anything like that and i found that a damp beauty blender works better because it kind of just like melts everything in then i went ahead and used the milani make it last original setting spray and i spritzed it in my face one time did like my contour and my cheek or whatever and then i spritzed it and set it on my face again and i feel like it just locked it in if you do this like two or three times in your routine and i really 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 like the way my makeup turned out again this is it up close haven't dabbed it out or anything so you can see like the oils but we're like seven eight hours in so that makes me super happy the boys are behind me and they're knocking down all of my window i mean pillows let me show you guys my desk really quick the whiteness and then i'll change it really fast and show you guys the after and then i'll obviously link this down below for you guys in case you want to switch up your white desk or switch up your desk so here's what my desk looks like without the contact paper on it like this is the original color i had contact paper but when i ripped it off i messed this up so we're gonna go ahead put that back on there i'm gonna show you guys the before and after so here's the before and here's the after it looks so good it literally looks like a brand new desk and i love it obviously if you like like different if you like like different patterns like marble or different colors you can choose that this is just the one that i like because it matches you know it matches the vibes and like the white with this white was too much wasn't giving so boy say hi say hi to the vlog say hello vlog Milo, say hi. Oh my. You want to say hi to the vlog? You want to say hi? Say hello. Say hi. <laughs> hi, Milo. Hi, Milo. <laughs> Mia always wants the attention. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. I am going to wait for my husband to get home. And while I do that, I'm going to just get some editing done really fast. But I think I am going to be doing more like day in the life vlogs because those are more easier for me to just edit. Today was just more of a me getting ready for the event. And I was at my desk this whole entire time. But other days I will be not solely like working and stuff like that. So you will have variety. You guys already know how the vlogs go, but it will be a day in the life style instead. Um, let me know what you guys think about that and that kind of will force me to just finish one video in one day And it'll be easier for me to just catch up and be more consistent on YouTube because I love my YouTube family and I just I just haven't been the best. Okay <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you guys in my next vlog Mwah. Bye